Aquarius, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for mid-August 2022. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aquarius, what's going on? The overall energy for the reading, the Emperor, I'm kind of getting it as an energy coming towards you, but it could be your energy. Uh, it's, a, it's a short kind of an energy that's popping into your reading that's being lived so intensely. Like it's a short, intense energy coming through and then going out. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Starting up the reading, you get the Ace of Cups crossed by the Two of Cups. That's love right there. Now, I don't know if this is happening physically. I hope so, because it's beautiful. But even if it's not, energetically, it's a lot of love that's being exchanged here between you and somebody else. In your focus here, your heart is fully open. In the recent past, there was an ending possibly to the situation or a belief that something came to an end. In your um, Strength, Page of Wands, definitely a sense of curiosity, a sense of keeping yourself open through this. In the immediate future, the star, that's your energy right there. But it's definitely a sense of, this is everything I could have wanted, kind of an energy. Uh, supporting this reading, the Eight of Wands. Um, energy exchange, and it's beautiful, it's open. Um, Surrounding you at this time as an energy, and you may not be aware of it, the fool, really taking a chance, really ex exposing yourself. Yeah, I mean, putting yourself out there completely, you know, 100% being into this, I'm assuming. Um, in your hopes and fears, um, this is the four of wands, the uh, energy of commitment is popping in, and in the potential outcome, the death card. That's what I'm saying. It's it's kind of like in between, like in the past there, there's an ending. In the potential outcome, there's an ending. So in between, there's beautiful energy that's being explored. Now, I don't know if this is just like a boost in terms of I feel so intensely about this at this time. I may not feel the same later on or something like that. Or it's a short um, lasting kind of a thing. I, I don't even know. Let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the emperor. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Huh, interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. This could be masked covered up by a sense of friendship. It could be that you know them, they know you, but there's a whole lot more going on underneath it all. Because I don't see much on the surface. You know, I see just, hey, you know, let's grab a coffee together. Okay, yeah, fine. And then there's this explosive energy underneath it all. So it's like, what the hell is going on here? Uh, let's do the Ace of Cups. The Empress, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Swords. Yep. Yeah, there's a whole lot more going on and there's a whole lot more of you or them. I don't know which one this is, but I kind of get that at this point. It's the both of you kind of acting in the same way towards this, where it's like something is feeling quite intense and it's like, no, don't feel that. Don't you dare go in that direction. No, just keep it cool. We're cool here. Nobody's feeling anything. This is not love, this is not, I don't even know what this is, but it's not love. So we're not supposed to feel that kind of a thing. Which is definitely entering as the, the 
a sense of an inner conflict here, this whole situation, because it's like, you can't tell yourself not to feel something that you're feeling, because you're feeling it. Uh, let's do the Two of Cups. The Tower, the Knight of Pentacles, the World card. I don't know if anything was ever... I, I, you're killing me in this reading. Because um, I don't know if this, these energies have been exposed. I don't know if, you know, you came out on the table. Like, look, this is what it is. This is what... It, it almost feels like the both of you know. Neither of you are addressing this and you're thinking the worst. Like, if this were to come out, if this were to uh, be revealed... It would be a disaster. Like, it would be, oh my god. So that's why you're closing it off even before it comes out. Let's do the Queen of Cups. Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I see what's happening. You are attached to another energy here by the looks of it. There's love though. There's love for this energy you're attached to. There's love possibly for another situation. That's the thing. Um, and it's not not being act upon necessarily it's it's well known though it's known but it's not it's not being let out this energy that's being felt in a particular situation um let's do the page of wands in your strength the knight of cups the higher from the star I mean, you feel what you feel, you keep yourself open. In terms of, you don't keep yourself open enough so that these um, energies that are being felt deep down and contained are coming out, but you allow yourself to feel enough because it feels quite deep and quite strong, whatever it is that you're feeling here. So it's like when you go to bed at night, you know what's up. You know, you don't necessarily deny it to the point of, let me not think about it at all, let me bury it. It's something that you feel. So you have times when you're honest about it because it's too powerful of a thing um, to not be honest about it. Still not letting it out. Let's do the star. <clears throat> the star in the immediate future, the five of cups, the six of pentacles, the ten of swords. Yeah, you're, you're, again, I have no idea what this is. It could be as simple as, yeah, there's somebody you know, they know you. There's more to it than just knowing one another, you know, in terms of how it feels. Um, but there's definitely a, a shutting down of that. There's definitely a... <clears throat> And I'm not even sure, I kind of get the sense that this is something that's not necessarily happening at the same time as you are possibly committed to somebody else. I kind of get the sense that this energy was here um, a while ago. It just kind of popped in in the sense of the energetical feel to it. And it's kind of like bad timing for it. Um, <clears throat> that's why I'm not seeing acting upon it because it's like you know it was here we could have done something about it but we didn't and now it's kind of too late or something like that comes through um maybe it is happening at the same time and it's like no um you know i have i have something going on i'm not gonna no but i see it more as an energy that's been here it's just kind of growing for some reason now and now is showing up as bad timing. Let's do the Eight of Wands <clears throat> in the way that it's dealt with, you know. 
The Eight of Wands and the Supportive Energies, the Five of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Ten of Cups. It's kind of like risking it all and seeing where this whole thing goes or playing it safe kind of a thing. And playing it safe is playing it according to the fear that's not allowing you to risk it at all. <sighs> there could be conversations around this, around this situation of should we just risk it all? Just come out with it all? Or should we just kind of bury it and pretend it's not here kind of a thing? There could be conversations around that. Let's do the full and the hidden energies. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups, the Lovers. Okay. Like I see this, and that's why it's shown up as short-lived, because it's like, you know, you're trying your best to... to shove it in there and just kind of like don't think about it but whatever this feeling is around this connection here is quite strong so you can shut it down you can definitely put it aside just know that if it is going to disappear temporarily it's kind of always going to be here kind of a thing in the way that i get it um so it's it's probably here to teach you to be honest with yourself. And once you're honest with yourself, you'll be able to be honest with the world about what it is that you feel. Um, you're not there yet. It's not happening yet by the looks of it, but I'm assuming this is the reason for this to show up here like this for you. So it's kind of like for now, we're just gonna translate it into bad timing. Uh, for the Four of Wands, you get the Six of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely sticking with what you got for now. And I mean, it's a good energy. It's, you know, it feels good. There's love here. There's all sorts of things that make this up into something that feels healthy for me. And it is. At the same time, you're feeling something. Uh, even if it's outside of this, you're still feeling something. So try slowly but surely to be honest with yourself about it. You know, you don't have to tell anybody. You don't have to say anything you don't want to say. What you feel, acknowledge it, embrace it, and accept it, that it might happen. Um, at the same time with something else that you got going on that's good, which sucks, <laughs> you know, if that's the case. But um, it's still, still teaching you to be honest at the end of the day. You know, let's do the death card in the uh, potential outcome. Two of swords, king of wands, three of wands. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can, again, you can shove this down. You can say, no, we're not going to do anything about it. And it's oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> in time, I see you kind of just realizing, yeah, this isn't going anywhere as much as I... Don't think about it as much as I push it aside. And it's not only you, I feel like it's valid for the other energy you're dealing with. Um, this is a tough one. This is a very tough one. Because, you know, in human terms, this is translated as, oh, you know, you got something going on and then something else shows up and it makes you feel certain ways. And then you translate it as, oh, cheating. Uh, energetically, it's a sense of aligning with how you feel and being honest about it to yourself. And then, you know, um, it'll show up in being honest with others too. But first you gotta be honest with you um, about what it is that's going on. So let's see what the universe has. <clears throat> Queen of Swords, Three of Swords, Page of Swords. It's already kind of starting to eat away at you, this whole situation, because again, the more you push this to the side, the more you push yourself to the side, the more you say to yourself, don't feel that, you're not allowed to feel that. So the more you reject you, you know? That's what sucks about this one. 
So this is gonna be a tough one. It's gonna take a little bit of a while, but for right now, again, it's kind of translated into bad timing, uh, which, okay, if that's what we wanna label it as, okay. Let's close it off with um, the Sacred Forest Oracle. Wild Rose Fairy Love. Really? That's what you get? Let's see. Your angels, guides, spiritual guardians, and allies adore and cherish you. If only you could see yourself the way those in spirit see you, you would know how profoundly and deeply loved, cherished, and adored you are. Be open to allowing the creators to solve your challenges in wondrous ways. Trust that everything is unfolding graciously and perfectly in your life. The opposite of fear is love. Allow fear to dissolve as love expands. The spirit of the wild rose says, if you are more cherished than you can, po oh, not if, you are more cherished than you can possibly know. Open your heart to receive. Love is on its way. You are an eternal vessel for love to flow through. You are enough just as you are. So love. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.